What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and today I have something really cool to show you guys. It is the fastest bamboo farm you can make in Minecraft and also can double as a sugarcane farm too with some slight modifications. And as you can see, it is very simple to build. And if you want to make it even bigger, you can make it even bigger and produce tons and tons of bamboo. Look at how fast this thing is going. So what this is doing is using a trick with falling sand and forcing block updates. And the issue that we have here is that the sand is kind of colliding with the hitbox of this boat that is stationed on top of a campfire. And because of that, it is just infinitely falling and then not falling over and over again. And it's doing it really, really fast, as you can see the observers going off. And it's forcing the bamboo on top to grow, basically. And we're just going to harvest it over and over again. And if you watch this double chest, this is coming in extremely fast. So I've got ahead and made this super simple design that you can do with three bamboo or you can build it out even bigger if you want using slime blocks and can push up to 12 at a time and we can fill up multiple chests or you can send it to a crazy sorting system or storage system of your choice there. But look at the bamboo going crazy. Also, like I said, we can do some slight modifications. We can put some waterlogged stairs in here to create waterlogged blocks that we can plant sugarcane on the sand instead. And as you'll see, it is also going to harvest the sugarcane just slightly slower than the bamboo but it is still very very useful for getting your hands on some sugarcane and best of all this is very easy to build in fact all you need to build this are the supplies in this chest right here all right so no doubt after you saw the farm in action you probably want to build it up for yourself so let's go ahead and do that right now first thing you want to do is decide where you want your output chest to be so we'll just go ahead and place it right there and we're going to put a lever next to that on a block this is going to be our way of shutting the farm off and on if we want it to run so after that what i like to do is put these hoppers but two facing into the back of the chest to get as fast flow as we can there and then this one's going to have to face into the side of that hopper by pressing shift right there now let's go ahead and grab our campfire and our boat and this is where the magic kind of happens it creates a special hitbox that that sand gets confused by and so we're going to go ahead and shift click our campfire on top of that hopper i'm going to go ahead and put it out just so that we don't have the smoke particles create any kind of lag in the world or anything like that if you're in 115 which by the way this works in 114.4 plus uh, so also works in 115 at the moment hopefully they don't patch this anytime soon and we can take advantage of it for a while uh, but yeah you could if you're in 115 you can just use a shovel to right click on that and it'll put the fire out now what we want to do is carefully place our boat. We're going to kind of look at this back strip of wood right here. And we're going to kind of place it right about there or so. That may not be perfect, so we're going to find out here in a second by trying to place some glass out in front of the boat. And if you're able to place the glass, great. If you're not, just push the boat back a little ways away from where you're trying to place the glass, kind of away in this direction, and you should be good to go. Now we're going to try to place some fence posts behind the boat, and we're going to see if we can place one right there and see if we can place another one and I cannot place it which means we need to give this boat a little nudge I'm just gonna kind of nudge it forward just a little bit and then I can go ahead and place that fence post now let's break out these three blocks right here we're gonna grab our sticky pistons we're gonna face them up and this is gonna be responsible for pulling down the fence posts and letting the sand kind of do the glitchy dancing action there and then if we raise it up it's gonna stop it from going on so we need to do a little bit of redstone let's break these blocks out from underneath and let's go ahead and build up a bit of redstone. So I'm just going to grab whatever blocks you want here. I'm going to go underneath here, just build out one down from here, and then we'll go back up. And we're going to do some repeaters here, and it's going to run right into the sticky pistons, and then behind that, the redstone there. And now we can cover this back up. We're all done down there, and we can, of course, decorate this however you like. Next thing we're going to do is actually put in our falling sand. So let's build up just a little bit here so that we can have some blocks to place our sand against. And we're going to let them fall right onto that fence post. So let me grab my sand here and you should see them falling right on top of the fence post. And if we flip this lever and flip it again to pull down the fences, you will see the glitchy sand, the dancing sand, as I like to call it. So we can go ahead and remove those temporary blocks and I'll go ahead and just make it go back to normal here and 
turn it off. Let's build up a little bit of glass here so that our bamboo doesn't go flying out everywhere as we harvest it. And we'll just build up a bit here and then we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and with the sand not dancing around, let's put the bamboo on there and take some bone meal to get it to go to its first growth stage. After you've done that, we can go ahead and grab some pistons. Actually, you should have already used three, so you have one left there. And we're gonna build out just behind the blocks here and temporary blocks like that. And we'll put the piston right there. And in front of that, we're gonna use three slime blocks. And this is gonna be responsible for harvesting that bamboo as it is growing super fast. Now, because we are using slime blocks, you wanna get some immovable blocks here. So I'm gonna use droppers because they don't create as much lag as furnaces. Uh, you could use obsidian or any other immovable block of your choice there. We're gonna put them kind of basically all around the slime blocks so that we don't have to worry about the slime blocks trying to move anything in the farm there. And that should do it right like that. Now we need to create a clock that's gonna get this piston right here to fire quickly. And what I'm gonna do is use the fact that an observer can sense those dancing blocks and we're gonna get signal off of that. So I'm gonna do this observer facing off of the sand right there into a note block and then an observer facing up into that piston. And now as we turn this farm on, you're gonna see the piston going crazy and the bamboo going crazy here. Uh, just so we don't have stuff flying out, let's go ahead and put a roof over this thing. And that is basically it. Looks like we do have some bamboo glitching through some of the blocks. If you're having a problem with that, go ahead and just kind of make a, a bigger shell around here with glass and that should hopefully fix that problem. But if you look in the chest, we are getting a crazy amount of bamboo for virtually very little work here. So I hopefully, I hope they keep this in the game. Uh, they probably do consider this a glitch and yeah, use it while you can, I would say, but we'll keep our eye on the uh, the bug fixes in 115. But for now in 114 and in uh, the early snapshots for 115, you should definitely be able to use this and it is awesome. So if you're interested in building up the bigger version or the advanced here, the sugarcane version that has some differences, I will have a world download in the description. You can check that out to figure out how to build it on your own. I'll do some flyabouts here. You can see I basically just did more boats and used one long slime uh, arm here off the single piston. You could, of course, uh, continue to expand that as much as you want. And for these ones, it's just a matter of fitting in some waterlogged blocks next to the sand so that you're able to place that sugarcane. And then this part got moved over by one. So basically the only difference is there, but I just wanted to show you this super quick video because this thing is just absolutely amazing at how much it can produce. I can't get over it. And I thought this might be useful for you in your world, especially if you need large amounts of bamboo or sugarcane for whatever your needs are. Also, there is a design out there using cactus as well to generate a ton of cactus using the same trick. I will just put a link to that video. It's originally where I saw this trick with the sand. It's from a YouTuber named Ike, and he's also got a cactus farm in his video that is pretty cool. So I'll go, of course, I'll put the link in the description. You can check that out. But that is it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did find it useful, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, I will see you again in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.